Why would you want to go anywhere when we live in the best place in the world? Huh? Oh! Top of the stairs. Top of the ah stairs. Um, <clears throat> okay. Oh, we're going that way. <clears throat> Got it. You all right? All good. He's all right. Oh. Oh, oh. Mrs. Brown illustrates adventure stories. Her latest is set in the old tunnels and sewers under London. She says she's stuck at the moment because she can't imagine what her hero looks like, but has no trouble coming up with nicknames for her daughter Judy, like Twinkle and Coconut and... Sweetie Pops, oh, hello, darling. Um, I was thinking you're going to the sewers tomorrow night. I just wondered if you wanted to join me. You could bring this Tony. The strange objects Mrs. Brown finds in her handbag. Ah. Henry! Henry, do not go out there! Do it, Dad. Someone has to. And that someone is me. Oh. Oh, I Don't jump like that. Seven percent of childhood accidents start with jumping. But if I'm going to be an astronaut... Well, you're not going to be an astronaut. You can be whatever you want, Tina. Jonathan, don't even think about it. Thirty-four percent of pre-breakfast accidents involve banisters. But Paddington just... I don't care what Paddington does. Mr Brown is something called a risk analyst. He says that having a bear in the house increases the chances of major disaster by four thousand percent. When Jonathan grows up, he wants to be an astronaut. Last year, he built a pair of rocket boots. Three, two, one. And is now only allowed to play with safe, educational indoor toys from the olden days. And how Jonathan can build almost anything using only Mr. Brown's educational old toys. This is amazing. It's very strange. Leave it to me. What use is my own chemistry set? Potassium nitrate? Sulfur? Hmm? This stuff is lethal, Dad. Three, two, one. And Mr. Brown is helping Jonathan build an enormous rocket. You sure about this, Dad? Face it, Jonathan, if we're going to get this bad boy into orbit, we're going to need all the nitroglycerine. Although Jonathan worries about his father's reckless attitude to safety. Houston, we may have a problem. Dad! Judy suffers from a serious condition called embarrassment. She is seeing a boy called Tony, but won't bring him home. So, when can I come round your house? That's never gonna happen. She is learning Chinese. Could you tell me the way to the central business district? So she can run away and start a small business. I have been accused of insider trading and require legal representation. Well then, Paddington, how would you like to come home with us? It's just a sort of sob story your mother falls for. Uh, uh, hang on, that's not fair. It so is fair. You've literally just brought home a random bear. Hey! So embarrassing. If you'd have done the same thing. Much more similar than you think. Dad. Jonathan, stay where you are. He's so embarrassing. Can't just leave him here. No, it's okay. Don't tell anyone at school about Paddington. Why not? Because everyone thinks we're weird enough without the bear. Batten down the hatches, young'un. There'll be a storm tonight. The radio said it was clearing up. Oh, radio. I feel it in my knees. My knees never lie. Much more similar than you think. <sighs> what are you doing? The storm is upon us. Oh, you and your knees. I can tell you for a fact, Mrs. Bird, it is not going to rain indoors. Back in Windsor Gardens, life is very different. Mrs. Bird says it's because things are finally set fair, and it's had a tremendous effect on her knees. Judy's embarrassment is clearing up.